my story and it be shit like that. Uh, don't let tough talk. What? You ain't built like that. What? You ain't hopping the shit. Man. Bring that shit man, back. Uh, Number one thing that people get wrong about affirmations when they're trying to use their words to manifest what they want in their lives is that they actually believe that it's about the words they're saying and that that is going to reprogram their subconscious mind. That's a motherfucking lie, right? It's because they don't, it's because their subconscious mind doesn't believe what the conscious mind is saying. So the subconscious mind can hear the conscious mind say, I'm a millionaire, but the subconscious mind knows that that's a lie. So it register, registers it as a lie, right? So the more you get to saying, I'm a millionaire over and over and over again, the more the subconscious mind, you know, when people start to, uh, tell their own lies so much that they start to believe it. That's the same thing as the subconscious mind. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the first lie. So you listen to music, right? And they say they a millionaire and they show you what they did to become a millionaire. Now that may not work for you. You understand what I'm saying? This is another reason why the law of vibration doesn't work for you because you don't know yourself and what you're interested in. Just because dude made a million dollars selling houses and flipping houses or, um, you know what I'm saying, doing music doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you, right? So you first have to understand that. So when you listen to music, you know what I'm saying, that says I'm a millionaire and they say I got all these bad bees, right? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Understand something, right? When you get excited for artists or anyone that says I'm a millionaire and I got all of these bad bees and they live in a lifestyle that you wouldn't particularly partake in, you understand what I'm saying? When you get excited for them, you know what I'm saying? You subconsciously are saying to yourself, this is what I need to do in order to obtain that lifestyle. Look, I'm going to show you how they scam you. Watch how he tell you a lie and then tell you the truth so he confused you. Watch this. Now, when people focus on the words or they focus on affirmations, it's all on thinking. It's I'm going to think better thoughts. I'm going to think I am enough. Lying. Right? So when y'all, I told y'all about this. When you listen to affirmations, right? You play that before you take a nap. You play that before you get rest, right? Not before you go to sleep. I told y'all the difference between sleep and rest. Now, when you get rest, right? You play your affirmations. You know what I'm saying? I told you, after day 30 at least. When you're hearing, I am rich. I am rich. While you're taking your rest, right? You're going to be like, how? Ah, you like, your subconscious mind is going to come out. The entity that resides within you or your subconscious mind is going to come out. And it's like pouring holy water on the devil, quote unquote, right? Literally, you're going to be, it's going to be a war. I'm not lying to you. Watch, do it. So you're going to do this for 30 to 60 days. And then on your regular days, your subconscious mind literally is going to do it by itself. Right, so you don't have to try to say, I'm gonna think better thoughts. It's, you're not gonna do that. The subconscious mind, right, is gonna already do it for you. When in actuality, this isn't about words, surface level things. This is about getting to the deeper aspects of who you are. That's what I was talking about when I told you he was gonna tell you the truth. It is about getting to who you are. Like I said earlier, it may not work for you. So you got to know who you are. In case of this is somebody that's in my uh, Magnetic Mastery membership. I brought him on. I was doing live coaching uh, two days ago. And I bring on this gentleman and I'm talking to him. And he's like, well, here's the thing. I'm thinking about what I want. I start to make a little bit of change in my life. And I start to feel motivated. But then what happens is I fall back into the old pattern. So he go to your class and he backslid like this was church. You wasn't teaching him right. So, uh, think about this, right? <clears throat> the reason he is trying to think about what he wants to do, and he's taking these steps, right? First of all, you shouldn't have to try to do anything. It should naturally come because the subconscious mind already knows what to do. You understand what I'm saying? This is, you're not teaching him right, man. You lying. This is when, I, when you take in affirmations, when you resting, right, your subconscious mind is going to already start to do stuff for you. You're not going to have to think about, oh, I'm handsome. 
you already gonna know I'm handsome. You you gonna be saying it to yourself one thousand times, literally without saying it to yourself. It's it's if like right, it's like it's like when you hear something that you didn't hear. You understand what I'm saying? That's the effect of the subconscious mind. So when you see things that you quote unquote don't see, right? Now I'm gonna tell y'all a secret, right? If y'all ever seen Rick and Morty, one of the newer episodes where they had their sleep people doing the work for them and they wanted, uh, uh, Rick and Morty wanted their person to have abs, right? So he had to program, he had to put a chip in them or something like that and program their minds, right? And so when they were sleeping, they would be like, uh, doing the sit-ups. And you're like, how? Does that work in my everyday life? Because I can't have a quote-unquote sleep person. I can't physically, my body will not literally go sleepwalking and doing some other stuff for me. So it's like when you hear yourself say, if you play like strong, like strong affirmations, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong. You're hearing it one billion times, right? Eventually, when you when your conscious mind starts to see that you're not strong after hearing I'm strong one billion times, you're literally gonna be like, I need to hit the gym because I keep saying I'm strong, right? I, you physically start to see yourself strong because you hear it too many times, right? It's like I told you, if somebody say you handsome, if you all you hear is you handsome in your entire life, you gonna think, oh, I'm, I must be handsome. And you're gonna literally start acting as if you were handsome, facts question what is the thing that is holding you back from just being that version of you because he kept saying there's something that's blocking me and I don't know what it is and then what he did is he, he tapped into himself and he said you know what I'm afraid of failure I'm afraid of failure and then he's wondering why he's not feeling motivated and why his motivation comes and goes well on one hand he's motivated to become this artist version of himself but on the other hand he's afraid of failure He's afraid of what will other people think of me or what will happen if I fail at it. Ooh, so why would his subconscious mind, because again, he just said he asked him to tap into himself, right? So once he realized that he was afraid of failure, right? You have to ask yourself, why would his subconscious mind manifest a question like that? If he played affirmations, right? his subconscious mind would have never had that on there. You understand what I'm saying? So another thing is, right, his subconscious mind has been infiltrated because he clearly said he's afraid of what other people may think about him. So that shows, right, that you spend a lot of your time focusing on other people or having other people in your life and not paying more attention to yourself. You need to eliminate other people from in your circle so that way that energy doesn't circle around you. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of times also this trickles back to a deeper level of childhood stuff where as a kid, maybe you didn't feel you were good enough. And if you didn't feel like you were good enough as a kid, you, you made a decision. I will be good enough. I will not mess up. If you were shamed for messing up growing up, then it's like, I will be perfect. I will set this huge high standard for me to be perfect. And that's what I will attain. And if it's anything less than that, then I just won't take action. But here's the interesting thing. At what point would you know that something you do is good enough? How would you know it's good enough? Oh. If you haven't dealt with your childhood traumas, for most people, you put yourself in self-sabotaging moments where you say, where your subconscious mind says, I'm not good enough. Because most of us, for the most part, I'm not going to say everybody, but most people, right, they haven't listened to affirmations that say, I will be good enough, I will be good enough, right? So their conscious mind, their conscious mind says, I will be good enough. They try to think. You understand what I'm saying? They try to think instead of letting their subconscious mind do the work for them and thus furthering their demise, right? Because you're putting more pressure on your conscious mind. You understand what I'm saying? To be good enough, right? And so 
the way you would know if it was good enough is if you go ask your friends if it's good enough. Because I'm pretty sure Pascal has friends, right, that judge him based off of what he got. You understand what I'm saying? This all goes and boils down to who you got in your inner circle. Understand that. It's words that we continuously repeat to ourselves. And one of the most common core beliefs that I notice when it comes to vibration that holds people back is that there's an initial belief there that says there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. I'm broken and there's something wrong with me. This is one of the most common things that I see with people. This is one of the most common beliefs that I had, by the way. The reason you think something is wrong with you or you're broken is because you watch other people's lives and you compare and contrast, right? So let's say you never seen nobody life and you just, you know what I'm saying? Like when you was a child, right? You went out, you played. You wasn't comparing and contrasting nothing. Not until you got into school, right? You started developing that same mindset as dude and her 